Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So, um, well, we just cleared another crash site, which was kind of rough. The psychic powers are still throwing me for a loop. I'm not entirely sure how to fight them. I have to think of something, because if we're going to take one of the uh, Praetors alive, we're going to need to deal with a lot of psychic. Anywho, um, we've got some reinforcements on the way, and we're really just waiting for... An opportunity to wreck some more alien face. Also for our uh, our new dropship to be done. Okay, well there's our... Oh, right, I should uh, make sure everybody's... Am I not building a new dropship? I am. It's not taking up space in the hangar? Oh, it just doesn't show up until it's completed. Okay, I see. I see how it works. Um, anywho, let's make sure everybody's in the correct spot. Great, there we go. So, let's just waiting for our dropship to be done. Great, okay, so, dropship here. It's gonna be Barn Owl 2. Which means we can now... How many slots does Barn Owl 2 have? That's my question. Missions, wait. Wait, what? How do my dropships have kills? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, it has... I don't know how many so slots that's... Hmm. Can I see that from somewhere? If I go here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so what I might do, rather than hiring a bunch of new recruits that we'd have to equip, I might just build a second tank. I think that will uh I think that will cover our our needs for uh Actually, let me make sure that tanks can go in the uh in the dropship first. Yes, okay, excellent. All right, build me another tank real quick. One of those, those are fairly cheap, and then we'll start uh cranking out more marauders. Okay, so now I got to reassign everyone again. <laughs> so everybody needs to be in different places. I guess I should get a third tank to put in the other helicopter at some point, but we'll we'll hold off on that for now. The other team is doing fine without tanks since they're just taking on scouts. Okay, so looking at the actual layout for this, I'm not sure if we can fit a second tank in here. Um, which is fine, because if we can't, we'll just assign the second tank to Snowy. Um... And we'll just have to hire some new recruits to fill out this roster. But my understanding was that these, um, like, it doesn't really matter where they are in the ship because they're going to get dropped in via, like, drop pod. So I'm not sure how much the, the layout of the people matters in this. Either way, we've got that going. So let's, uh, hello, small scout. Mission Scout. That's it. Okay. Shoot that one down, thanks. And we've got a supply ship. Um, yeah, we'll just throw two at it, because uh, we're going to need multiple to deal with that anyways. This one, on the other hand. Uh, two Marauders can take down a carrier without any trouble, I think. Okay, shoot that down. And now, uh, we may as well just ship the secondary team out to that one. Wait, 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 okay, that's, okay, that's fine. Make sure they have guns, and they're not, like, massively overweight, which some of them are. God, Shevchuk, you've been here for so long, and you still can't hold your full gear. This is so sad. Okay, there, nobody is over capacity now. All right, send them out to go deal with that. Make sure not to send the wrong drop ship. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, well, that needs to be dealt with. That needs to be dealt with quite immediately. Okay. Um, you guys head back to base, because it shouldn't take too long for Heron 2 to refuel and rearm. And then I'm sending the three of you out to deal with that battleship before it causes any trouble. Okay, shoot that down. Yeah, they don't take any damage fighting, uh, fighting a carrier with two marauders. This is good. Um... 
I guess we may as well send the other dropship out here, right? How long is it going to take to get there? Barnell 2. Six hours. Jesus, that's ludicrous. That's literally half the time. Oh my god, that's actually insane. Uh, six hours is going to put them in the middle of the night, so let's not do that. And let's... Oh, it's going to be three days until we have another tank. Okay, whatever. We'll send them out as is. I um, just want to let time kick tick over a little bit, and also we're going to hit this crash site anyways. Oh, all right, what are we looking at here, apart from everybody facing the wrong way? Please, in Xenonauts 2, please let me direct their facing inside the dropship, just so I don't have to have everyone looking weird when they come in. Okay, well, um, where we are seems reasonably safe for now. Um, we're fighting seasons, so we're going to want cover at basically all times, because they could be shooting from well outside our range. But uh, it's a scout mission, so we should be okay. Um, we are in a back corner here, so we may as well split the teams out and just have them uh, loop around the map until they find something of interest. Let's get... All right, crab truck, you can come over here. Oh, you have the heavy. Oh, shoot, I should put you. Nah, damn. Okay, well, I goofed that one. Wasn't paying attention to what weapon he was carrying. Um, go. Just keep an eye in there, actually, just in case anyone's running through. Uh, the rest of you. Come over here. Okay, we got locals, which is good. Give us a little bit of extra cover. Um, these buildings are multi-story, but I don't know that there's... Unless we find the crash site, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason for us to set anybody up in them just yet. At least until we have a better idea of, uh, where our targets are. Okay. Some psychic nonsense is happening, but it's like the, the little, like, scout crew scion, so he's not exactly doing a whole lot to us. Okay, we got a nice fence to take cover behind up here. All for what it's worth. Okay. May as well crouch while you're there. Quick look behind. Yeah, see, the soldiers in the last mission didn't have laser weapons, but this guy does. Let's see where all of our uh, all of our funding went to. I mean. To be fair, the, the the Soviet army does seem to be in the process of invading Canada, so I can see why we maybe didn't want to give them laser weapons. And I I kind of I kind of approve of that decision, but um, not sure how I feel about just arming random people in the middle of uh, where is this? This is like in Iran somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's where we are right now. Ooh. <laughs> I, that fire is so inaccurate, I can't even tell where it's coming from. Oh, hi. Okay, looks like you got a secret admirer there. Start moving up on him. He is moving up on us. Okay. That will make my job easier. Do you need experience? You do need experience. Oh, that's wonderful. Ah, but you don't have to use to do this. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we're just going to wait here for that guy to round the corner and get shot, which is probably what he's going to do in a minute. Just make sure there's nobody else sneaking around. He doesn't have anywhere to go, right? He's in our line of sight this whole this whole way. If he goes anywhere, we'll know about it. All right, as for the rest of you, um, there's the maps right there. So we're going to start moving or rotating this way. Spread everybody out. Nice. So we can get some vision of things. Alright. Is our new alien friend going to run around the corner and get shot? Or is he just going to chill out there? Ah, I'm disappointed. All right, in that case, um, we are going to do this. I 
I really want to get uh, Noel the kill, so I'm going to try and position him to go around that corner next turn. We can still see if he tries to retreat, so... Okay, Lopez up here. Uh, there's a little dark spot back there that we can't see into, which is concerning, but should be okay. Now, uh, I'm going to send just these two person uh, Shevchuk to go. Make sure there's nobody chilling out back here, but I doubt there is. Um, you guys are just running down the end of this. Oh, hello, target. Okay, run for some cover over there. Oh, couple target. Okay. No UFO just yet, but... Ah, out of range. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have Bauer wait. He might be able to get some reaction shots on this guy, but there's not a ton of cover for him to move up to. And since uh, Chan used his to use moving up there, I'd like to have somebody ready to reaction fire in case they try something ballsy. Hi. There we go. Wow. Wow. Freaking marksman over here. Okay, well, uh, Crab Truck's gonna need healing because he just got, like, eaten by that dude. Um, can you shoot him from back there? Yeah, give it a go. There we go. Okay. Uh, Joe also needs some healing, but he actually has his own med kit, so that's fine. He can do that. While the rest of the team shuffles their way around these uh, wood lines here. Okay. Okay. Wow, we can actually almost make it all the way over there. Shove truck may not be very strong, but he is quite fast. Okay, so this guy's dead, although Noel's armor. I have no way of knowing how much armor value he has, at least I don't seem to. But his armor did take. probably took some damage from being. Uh, Shot at point blank range like that. Um, I have my doubts that there are more aliens lurking in this back hallway here. But uh, let's keep Glitchko on standby just in case. Uh, Kravchuk also needs to heal himself, but Kravchuk at least is strong enough to hold a medkit. And, you know, the rest of his gear. Actually, basically, I think there's like one person in this unit that's not carrying a medkit right now because I prioritized those over. Uh, grenades this time. Mostly because I just don't use grenades all that often. I probably should use them more. Um, do we have a friend? We do have a friend. Uh, Alright. Get your carbine back. You can't hit him. He's actually outside your effective range. Um, but you can find some better cover at least. There's a lot of guys outside the ship. I'm kind of impressed. Can any either of you... Oh my god, you have line of sight. Oh, let's... Can we do this? Yes! Person. Good shooting. Okay, Shevchuk. Um, there was a dude over here, which means there could be someone in this little, like, patch of darkness over here. Just slightly concerning. Just have Shevchuk angle around. The problem is I don't have a good way to approach that. And while I can just run up to it on the basis that they're unlikely to instant kill any of my guys at this point, you know, on this mission, uh, it's not a good habit to get into. Okay, so far, nothing else back here at least. Alright, crab truck, get your, uh, get your gun back. Uh, let's have you just... Where am I going to put you? That's a good question, actually. You've already used a bunch of TUs. Yeah, that'll work. Should keep you mostly out of trouble there. That might have been the last of the aliens outside the ship. But, uh, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of local forces here, so I'm not really... I'm not getting the feedback that I normally do, where you can hear one side or the other shooting as the, uh as you scout the map to kind of give you a gauge on how many people are left, but 
this is like a scout, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're uh, we're pretty safe out here at this point. Oh, I stand corrected. There is an that there's an honest to goodness red shirt standing outside the ship. This is uh interesting. He is exceptionally outmatched. I don't know how long it would take him to actually damage one of my guys with that uh that pistol he's carrying. I don't intend to give him the chance to find out. Okay, that's all fine. But at least we know where the sh the uh crash is now. Yeah, just hang out there for a second until I got some better vision of what's going on around you, buddy. That's fine. I don't mind them being outside the ship. You know, the more of them we kill outside the ship, the better it is for me, because going inside the ship is the actual dangerous part. Okay. Alright, we got this dude nicely surrounded here. He is not running back inside. Oh, there's a sign friend as well. Just going to check the door. All right, so we got a rogue red shirt around here. We got to deal with. Can you hit him from there? Yes, but not well. Let's see if Bauer can do any better. Nope. I mean, we could just take the shot from here. I'm. Um, I'm loath to move too much closer. Honestly, 34 times 3 is not that bad. With the mag carbine. Yeah. Even one, like, even a grazing wound will probably put that guy down, and it did. Alright, let's get everybody else in position. Hopefully, that scion, like, opens the door and gets shot. Because that would save me the trouble of dealing with the freaking psychic nonsense while I'm getting everyone set up. Oh. Well, I made Bauer panic. Which is unfortunate, because I was going to move him so I could put uh, Crabchuck in his spot, but... You know, such is life when there's psychic nonsense happening around you. Okay, let's go make this Psyker stop doing psychic nonsense. Hello. Ow. There you are. Jerk. Nope, no mission complete just yet, but, uh, probably not that many guys left inside here. Three dead in here, we got, what, four outside, five. Okay, so there's two left, maybe? Depending on how good my math is. Well, how good my remembering where things are is, which is not very. Hello. Maximum rude. Uh, do any of you need kills? I didn't. No, we have the. Oh no, we only have one private on this mission. Okay, well, may as well give him all the kills he can get. Howdy. Still no mission complete. Okay, that's fine. It's just uh. Wow, Shevchuk did not take a lot of damage from that, like, burst of plasma fire to the face. Always good to see. Let's get everybody else in here. Alright, time to start opening doors. Nope, he doesn't want to come out to greet us. Okay. Reload on those two. Alright, I'll have you go first. I'll you open the door. There we go. That way, if there's anyone in the next room, you should be the one to get the kill. Hi. Do you have enough to use to do this? Yeah, you do. There we go. Okay. 
Kravchuk took a surprising amount of damage from that one extremely accurate season who was shooting him from, like, the opposite end of the map, but nobody else really took that much. Five days injury. Jeez. It's pretty bad for a scout mission. There we go. Noel got four kills. Hang up from the corporal. Oh, we got another major. Great. That's actually wonderful. We currently have one colonel, I think. Yeah, we have a colonel. And this is our only major, so... Always good to have. Oh, I stand corrected. These are our only majors. Um, what was I doing? Oh, right, I was waiting for, waiting for you you guys to rearm. Okay, well that shouldn't take too too long, and then we gotta shoot this guy down. I'm feeling twenty four percent. All right, let's just do that real quick before we end. That's an issue. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is send... Shoot. Literally don't have range with anyone else. Okay. Well, we're going for this one first because they showed up first. Um, if we're lucky, they'll fly somewhere else to one of our other bases that does have a bunch of marauders just hanging out doing nothing. Uh, and we can get that sorted but for now this is the one that's likely to do something first so just wait a little bit longer carrier doing research where is that oh that's a bravo okay well again we're waiting for stuff to rearm okay great get rid of that for me thanks um so, this base is full of foxtrots, who are not going to be able to shoot this down, or catch it, more to the point. Okay, well, the, the supply ship is just going to have to sort itself out, because I don't have the uh, means to deal with that. Okay, shoot that down, head back to base. Reapers, civilians, and a praetor. Hmm. Alright, get rid of that. Either way, that, I think, is where we are going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.